Hello, welcome back to Ponea TV. My name is Caleb Ngari. I am a clinical management trainee at Ponea Health. And today we will discuss chronic kidney disease. And with me is Dr. Albert Chesire. I'll allow him to introduce himself. Hello, my name is Dr. Albert Chesire. I'm a general practitioner. I currently work at uh, Ponea Health as one of the 18, 20 doctors, as well as other clinical data lead at Ponea Health. Um, the 1820 platform is uh, a platform for general practitioners where we get to see patients through the various uh, te technology platforms at Ponea. We see patients uh, via teleconsultations, uh, home visits, and uh, we are able to meet their needs at the comfort of their home or convenient uh, place points. So um, for today, we will have a discussion about chronic kidney disease. And myself and Dr. Tari will try and dissect uh, into chronic kidney disease, trying to understand what exactly it is and what exactly um, happens in our bodies when we have such a condition. So Dr. Tari, tell us a bit more. Um, what is chronic kidney disease? Yes, uh, so chronic kidney disease implies that uh, you have an illness that is affecting your a kidney. From a lay person, the word a chronic will imply something that has uh, been there for quite a period of time. Uh, but uh, for purposes of very specific definitions, we refer to one of the bodies that governs uh, kidney diseases, is known as the KDGO, that is a uh, kidney disease improving global outcomes. So they will define a chronic disease as um, a change in the structure of the kidney or its function that has been there persistently for a duration of at least three months. As we know, the kidney is one of those vital structures that we have in our body. Uh, it plays a role in very uh, many uh, aspects in our body, but the a key role mainly is in terms of uh, regulation of uh, water balance in the body as well as clearing of our wastes. Uh, in terms of very strict definition, we will refer to a KDGO, which is uh, the global body that governs uh, kidney disease. Uh, in full, it's uh, a kidney disease improving uh, global outcomes. They define a kidney disease as um, a change in the structure or the function of the kidney that has been persistent for at least three months with implications for the patient's health. Yes. Thank you, Dr. Tari. Um, in a more literal sense, we are talking about chronic kidney disease. Might we have an acute kidney disease? Yes, we do. Um, so acute a kidney disease will imply that you have a change or a, a sudden alteration in the function of the kidney occurring over a very short period of time typically because of um, a very short illness or a change in the body's uh, fluid balance. Either you have dehydration or you have an acute uh, blood loss where someone uh, loses a lot of blood at the same time or you have um, ingestion of toxins. These are harmful substances that uh, affect the kidney. So to differentiate the two acute kidney injury will imply you have a sudden change in uh, decline in kidney function versus a, a chronic uh, kidney disease which is re relates more to a, a change that is persistent over a longer duration of time. Okay, we have spoken about a global body, a global body that manages uh, kidney disease and that means that this is a disease that has a global impact. Would you tell us um, in terms of the prevalence and the incidence of this disease, what are some of the epidemiological studies that have been conducted and what are the figures looking like in terms of um, chronic kidney illnesses among patients? So a kidney disease is a disease with a huge global burden, uh, both uh, regardless of the nations, whether it's uh, developed countries or in the third world countries. Globally, the prevalence is at around 9%. Uh, uh, to be specific, an example of 
the United States, they have it at around 15%. Locally, our data is sparse and, and erratic, but uh, the figures quoted from various isolated studies will give it a burden of around 6 to 14 percent mm -hmm. thereabout mm -hmm. and are uh, mostly stemming from diabetes and hypertension which as we know are quite prevalent in our local setting. Okay. Dr. Ri, uh, has spoken about diabetes and hypertension being uh, one of the most common causes of chronic kidney disease. Do we have other causes of chronic kidney disease that attrib are attributed to the disease? Yes, we do have, um, in addition to diabetes and hypertension, which play the most uh, significant role, other uh, causes will be causes relatable t to the structure of the uh, kidney. So we, we may have um, what we call renal artery stenosis, that is a uh, narrowing of the blood vessels that supply the uh, kidney is one of the other uh, causes. Other causes will imply um, causes related to very specific uh, structures of the uh, kidney. Uh, we have uh, structures known as the glomeruli, which are the parts of the kidney responsible for filtration. Uh, we have uh, very specific illnesses that are mostly manifest when in childhood, that what we call primary ill. Uh, glomerular disease that uh, affect the glomeruli that are more specific in children. Uh, the same glomeruli may be injured by other causes. Uh, it could be toxins, uh, these are uh, harmful substances in terms of either drugs, heavy metals that may affect the kidney. Other causes might be uh, some, in, some inherited conditions that are you have cysts, cysts, these are fluid filled collections within the kidney that may interfere with how the kidney functions. Uh, you may also have obstructive causes where someone is unable to pass their urine for one reason or the other. Uh, this could be either due to a kidney stones, which is uh, quite prevalent, or uh, um, strictures. These are areas of narrowing uh, within uh, maybe the urethra, which is the final uh, outflow point for urine. And now the buildup of this urine, uh, because of the poor excretion of the urine, has uh, significant detrimental effects on the uh, kidney. Uh, it's also uh, common among old men, where they have their prostates enlarged, now you have uh, urinary uh, retention, which still affects and may lead to kidney disease. So the causes are multiple, but we'll try and focus on the common causes as it is in our local setting. So in short, Dr. Lee, you have mentioned that um, we will ha we'd have the causative agents being directly from where the renal artery starts to mm -hmm. the kidney itself and also its output. Yes. So there are different extents that might um, happen when somebody has chronic kidney disease. Mm -hmm. So that means we are able to uh, understand that the kidney as a whole cannot be affected in some cases. Um, mm -hmm. In some cases, you might have just a certain portion affected. In mm -hmm. some cases, you'll have a full-blown um, kind of uh, of the kidney being diseased. Mm -hmm. So w would there be stages, the different stages whereby um, the kidney, the chronic kidney disease manifests? There are various stages of a kidney disease. These are primarily defined based on a function we call glomerular filtration rate. Glomerular filtration rate is a product or rather a function of a patient's level of creatinine. This is a very specific measure that we obtain from the patient's blood. This is taken alongside the patient's uh, age, uh, the gender, the weight, and we're able to arrive at that function. And based on that, we are able to categorize the kidney diseases into rather a chronic kidney disease into five notable stages. Stage one to three are generally asymptomatic uh, patients that we are able to just uh, note that they have 
a kidney disease based on their kidney test and uh, occasionally imaging a, a test that we do. So stage one is uh, a patient who has a EGFR of above 90. Um, stage two is where you're having an EGFR of between 60 to 89. Stage three, these are patients with an EGFR of um, 30 to 59. Stage four will be an estimated glomerular filtration rate of between 15 and 25, whereas stage five, which we also call end stage renal disease, is a patient with an estimated glomerular filtration rate of less than 15. So f for each specific um, stage, we also take into consideration additional factors. Uh, for instance, there is a very uh, specific protein by the, the name albumin that should not uh, be leaking to urine. So that alongside the EGFR, uh, we use it to estimate how fast patient's kidney function will decline overall. Thank you so much, Dr. Terry, for that. Um, we have discussed uh, a brief introduction and some of the patterns of disease that affect uh, that the chronic disease, uh, the chronic kidney disease affects people globally. We have also talked about the various causes of chronic kidney disease and also outlined the various stages. So in our next episode, we will talk about the presentation and the various diagnostic procedures that we will have. And with that, we will be, we will, we will be able to tackle in the next uh, segment, so stay tuned.